Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to get started on some of the tasks here in Drownlands. The first one we're going to work on is SOS and that'll give us the Tega 6436 truck. So I've prepared myself by bringing out a crane and a scout fuel trailer. We're going to load the fuel trailer into the back of the ANK. Let's get started. Usually when I load these scout trailers into the back of a truck I try to turn them around backwards so that the bulk of the weight is towards the front that will help with stability now we can just pack this trailer and we'll back up and grab a service trailer we're gonna make our way around the map and restore and refuel as many vehicles as possible since there's a lot of tasks that require that the ANK has access to the tag of balloon tires as you can see so I installed the raised suspension that we found in Pedro Bay and the Taga tires are 51 inch. So this will be a pretty good mud truck for us to take out on the map. I'm going to show you the path that we're going to take to get there. It'll be something like that. Let's go. I have the off-road gearbox in the ANK even though the ANK itself is pretty fuel hungry and the off-road gearbox is a not a fuel efficient choice. I went with it because the ANK tends to get pretty tipsy after you add the raised suspension. These wide tires will help with stability, but I figured that it would probably be a good idea to slow it down. And we do have a fuel tanker with, so I'm not too worried about running out of fuel. We're gonna go up to this little quarry here on the left, like we did when we were scouting out with the little tuz and we'll turn off here drive across the rough bottom here and then we'll take the tree line over to the Tega. The ANK is a great truck for off-roading you just have to take it easy because it gets pretty unstable. We'll go through the trees and make our way around until we get over to where the busted down Tega is. There's not a whole lot on this map that we really need like just a two slot sideboard bed for, for hauling cargo. Most of it's gonna be five slot semi-trailer. So this truck doesn't really serve a whole lot of purpose for moving cargo here in drowned lands anyway. We're just going to use it for a service truck. Okay, first thing we'll do is get the fuel tank repaired and put some fuel in it right away. So I repaired everything. Okay, now the truck is discovered. We'll probably just recover it from here, so I'm going to take as much fuel back as possible. And then we'll continue on. We'll get up the hill here and I'll show you which task we're going to do next. So continuing up the road, we'll get to the aquatic task, which is right up here. We're just going to follow this dirt road until we get to the swamp and then we'll cut across. Now I can cut across the swamp here. 
There isn't really a best route. That's pretty much all muddy. You just want to try to stay somewhere where you can use some trees that aren't going to fall over to winch yourself. Put it in low would be my advice. Dawn 71 only needs to be restored. It doesn't have to be hauled anywhere. We'll get the task act tracking. Let's repair that. And then we can refuel it. We won't be able to get our fuel back out of this one. But it's only 42 liters. Top off the ANK. Now from here we're going to do the off the cliff task. So that'll be our route. When we get past the sawmill, we're going to cut off the road because the road is horrible and we'll flip you over. We're going to follow the tree line and then drive straight up to the other road there and back down. Let's get out of the swamp first. These tires do pretty good in the mud. And like I said before, they don't do very well in the off-road use. But we'll be doing mostly mud traveling on this episode, so that's why I decided to pack them on. Going past the sawmill now, we'll just take the corner. And once we get to the other side, I'll show you where we'll turn up and follow the tree line up. Okay, if we follow that road ahead, there's some rocks down there on the left. It gets really uneven. It's definitely going to flip us over, I can tell you right now. Just follow the tree line here. Stay to the right. There is a dip on the left there, but if you stay to the right, you'll be fine. You just go right up the side, and then once you get to this open area here, you can cut across the dip, trying to hit it a little bit straight on so you don't roll, and then turn back uphill. And the road is right up here on the top. So that'll be our route through there that we'll take from now on. And then the road is right here. We should be pretty safe on this road now as long as we don't get going too fast. There are some rocks that'll lunge you and flip you over if you're not careful, but the Dawn 71 is straight up ahead. We pulled it out on the last episode when we were scouting so we could get easier and better access to it. Oof, that, that dip there got pretty ugly. <laughs> Watch out for that one. Here it is. Oh, we don't have enough tires. It's already full of fuel. If I have a scout nearby. We do have the Tuz close by. It has four tires on it. We'll run this over there real quick. And we can repair the last two tires. And then that'll be done. It's just around the corner. 
it's a good idea to leave your vehicles out on the map instead of recovering them back to the garage for situations like this. The little tuz. This thing's an off-road beast. I think we'll be safe to run this up the road because of how small it is. And it seems to be very stable. We'll see how it does here. This is the spot that always gets me when I come through here with a bigger truck. It's right here on this side hill. Not too bad with this thing. I spoke too soon. Okay, now we have to rescue the Tuz. I'm gonna pull this trailer off to the side. And we'll leave it here. to go far. Okay, we got that flipped back over. Let's jump into it and run it up the road. Alright, that one's done. We can do the drown truck task next, but we're going to have to run back to the repair station in the middle of the map and refill the service trailer. So we'll get that A and K. And just bring it, bring it back down and grab the service trailer and we'll run over there quick, restock it, refill the fuel tanker, and we'll head back out. Since we're here, we might as well repair and refuel the Tuz. Got everything topped off. Let's get out of here. So we'll run down and go across the bridge, and then we'll take that same road that we we used with the Kodiak when we hauled the Tuz back to the service center there. It'll be the first right after the bridge. Could also go left and go through the fence. Let's try this. I think this might be a little easier. Some of these yards have a lot of trash in them. And you can really destroy your truck trying to drive through here. But we're headed to the service center. Yeah, this one's fine. Yeah, it's kind of a little shortcut back to this main road. We can take this main road now all the way back. You do want to stay to the right going on across here because this spot on the left here is really deep. It gets you off-centered with your truck. You'll start flipping over for sure. Just a short jaunt over to the service hub from here now. We made it. it. Wasn't too far. There's another log loading station up here. 
I believe this one has limited cargo also. We can stop and check it real quick and see what it has. Three long logs and four medium logs. So same as the other one, one load of each. Long and medium. There will be a fair amount of logging that we have to do in this map also. The first thing we'll do is run this over the repair station here. Get everything restocked. Somebody left the Kodiak right in the way. Alright, now that we're restocked and refueled up with everything, we'll head back out the same way we came. And we'll cruise up the road. Drown truck isn't far from here. Pretty simple drive over there. Let's go. road gets a little windy through here. It's hard to see where you're going from the back because the trees are always in the way, in the line of sight. All right, the Voron is just off to the left. We'll head over there through the trees here. Let's get it repaired, and we'll refuel it. Okay, we're not far from the Hummer that we pulled out of the lake. So we'll work on help cable next. We just gotta run over where it's at there. It's not far, so let's back up a, a little bit. And we'll get back on the road. water gets kind of deep here. You can go through the trees up there instead of taking this mud hole. I just chose not to with the ANK because of how unstable it can be on side hills and I know that there are some spots through there that are pretty unstable. So we'll just crawl it through the mud instead. It's swampy here. Got my wheels cranked and it's not even turning. These tires do help it to float on the mud a little bit more versus, say, the off-road tires that we have on, like, the Royal, the UOD2s. You'd sink down a lot deeper with those in spots like that. Now, as long as we don't roll over, we'll be okay. Hummer's straight up ahead.
Let's repair it. We don't have to repair it, but this is going to help us to be able to pull it over to the drop-off zone a little bit easier. We can top off the fuel in the Scout 800 there. And then from here, I think we'll head over to the retired task and see if we can't get that that little Zix 5368 pulled out. So even though it's going to be a risky drive across here, we're going to take, take a shot at it. And we'll go up over the rock, over the top here on the rock road. We could also drive down to the bottom and cross the edge of the lake bed like we did with the scout. I think that'll be pretty slow moving, so we'll take our chance here on the rocks instead. Just gonna have to go slower. This spot right here is a little tricky. Probably be best to drive up here on the rocks. We're doing okay. So far. Lots of mud holes in around here. AK doesn't care though. We could just drive straight across the swamp there. It definitely would make it across. It's just really, really slow. Thick, deep mud. Going around is going to be probably quicker. Yeah, I'm going to take the service trailer in here and repair it. The thing about this truck is it's pretty damaged. If we put a little bit of fuel into it, it should be able to help itself come out, drive out. I'm going to turn it on. This mud here is horrible. I got to get the truck pulled out of here first. There we go. That thing does not want to drive out of there. Let me pull out of here and get the service trailer dropped off first. And then I'll drive in there a little further and see if I can't get it unwedged. Okay, let's take a different route in there since we tore that up pretty good. Not sure what it's wedged on. Something. Probably a root or something.
get it pulled up here to the side a little bit. Let's see if it'll drive out now. Sucker is really in there. I really don't know what it what it's stuck on. See if I can get it turned around, maybe. There, it's coming. I think we got it now. It'll hook back up to the service trailer now. And then we can pull this back out. Oh, and we'll pull it over by the service hub. There we go. It's a kind of a neat little truck. It's small, light. When you get the raised suspension and the higher engines in it, it's a pretty cool little off-road beast. It is in the off-road class. It doesn't have all-wheel drive at the moment. Okay, I think we're in the clear now. Should be able to cruise up the road. Turn the engine off on it so it can pull it a little faster. The engine is slowing us down. And then I'm just going to leave it right here at the intersection. Next time we come by here with one of our other trucks, we can pull it back to the garage. So let's run over to the service hub and get restocked.
Okay, hey, everything's full. We'll jump back to the farm swim task. We're gonna run up all the highway past the warehouse, past the fuel station, and all the way up to the farm. We'll rescue that Voron D that's out in the swamp. Take our turn off here by the shack. You can see these tires, they kind of just spin on this terrain. And that's where the UOD2s have a better off-road rating. They get through here a little bit quicker. It's just they struggle in the really deep swampy mud. Whereas this one will, will keep going. passing the warehouse. We made it back to the paved road. Fuel station is on the left there. Once we go past the fuel station, we're going to take the back road. It's not even a road. It's just a, a alternative route into the farm that I find to be the easiest way to get in there. If you take the road into the farm, you'll have to drive through a swamp. So once you get to these trees here, just turn left right before you get to the power pole. Go right up the hill. There's a dip here you got to be careful about because it will flip you over. You can drive right down the backside here. Into the farm. And then you'll see there's a, a small scout trailer here. Just pull it out of the way. So we're going to drive right where it's parked. It has some fuel in it. It's not full. We'll probably top it off when we come back. For now, I'm going to leave the fuel in, in my trailer so that I have a little bit more weight to help push these tires down. Let's go right up over the top. And then we'll have to get turned around. So I'm going to go up this way. And kind of make it a loop around like a U-turn. We'll see if we can reach the Voron D to repair it. It's pretty destroyed. Can't quite reach it from here. Let's see if we can pull it ahead a little bit. You can see that swamp there is really deep. The suspension on it is destroyed. Everything is. So we'll completely repair it just to make it easier to pull out of there. Put some fuel in it too. I guess it has a little bit of fuel in it. Get it running and see if we can't pull it out of there. 
The one nice thing about it is that truck has all-time all all-wheel drive. So it will help itself. Kind of got it pulled up to a bank there. Let's see if we can yank it out this way. Got it driving up the hill now. Yep, there it comes. You can pull this back without repairing it, but it's a fairly heavy little truck. And when it's lying flat on the ground with no suspension, it's really hard to pull. It just takes forever. We'll go right up over the top of this hill, back down where that Scout fuel trailer is. And we already, by going this way, we've already avoided a majority of the hardest part going through here. Let's put some fuel in this for later on. And then just pull it right around the corner and the drop off is just up ahead. Pretty muddy through here. I'm gonna hold the winch button down so the boron drives. Kind of force it to drive that way. And before I pull it into the box, actually, I don't need to re get the fuel out of it because we can go right by the fuel station once we leave here. Okay, let's jump into the Scout. We'll work on help cable, which is just delivering this Hummer. Now that it's fully restored, should be able to drive out of here a little easier. This just needs to go to the village, which is just up the road. We had a little bit of a hard time pulling this out of the swamp, mostly just trying to get it turned around. It kept getting stuck on the rocks. But once we got it out of there, it's running pretty good now. Okay, we're gonna go to the right here, and we'll just follow that road around all the way to the village there. The service hub is on my left there. Kind of a deep spot. The Hummer is heavy, that's for sure. Now we can turn left here, instead of following up by my marker there. It's a little bit 
easier to drive across the top here instead of that mud. And then just cut through the trees. The drop off is straight up ahead. I will steal the fuel back out of it just so I have extra in this scout. All right, that's where we're going to stop it for today. On the next one, we'll do the tasks where we load up the bricks and haul the last couple uh, vehicles around, and then all the tasks will be done. We'll get ready to knock out the contract run. Appreciate everybody coming by. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.